So we're just going to sketch the birds on a regular piece of paper and talk about some key points within that. We'll look at this bird first over here on the left. Start with just uh, an oval shape for his head and an oval shape for the body. And then we'll start to fine tune it from there. So we wanna look at the size of the head compared to the size of the body. We wanna make sure that those are pretty close. And then we can look at some things like, what is the angle from the shoulder of this wing here going up the neck to the round of the head? Have we matched that here? Not quite. So if we have this angle, right? And then it's like that. So then this head shape needs to go over here. So then we can make those adjustments and bring it over and then decide if the size is about right. How far out does this go to the tip of his, compared to the tip of the shoulder on that side? So that actually, so if I draw some lines on here, right, then I might say that this shoulder needs to go all the way out to here, and I can tell that this is all the way out over here and then get his body in as well. So making some of these key points till I can get the basic shapes down about right. And how tall is he this way? You know, compared to that. And then I can look at some of these shapes and compare them one to another and make sure that they're lining up. Then I have the beak, of course. It's gonna come from inside of the head and come out. So one of the things that we wanna do is we don't wanna have the head here and the beak outside of it. We want it to come all the way in, right? And then the shape is not too long like that. It's kind of rounded with the beak shape out fairly in the center. So we don't wanna have it too long. You don't wanna have it too hooked, but very rounded here and coming in not from the outside of the head, but all the way from in here, right? So we can see that it's inside of that circle space here that we drew. So we'll have that corner of the beak all the way in, and then we can adjust to that shape and fine tune it. We wanna look at where the eye is, how close is it to the beak, and how close is it to the back of the head. It isn't in the center, we wanna see that it's a little bit further off, right? So we can see the space in between here versus the space between here. How high is it up here? Looking at those points, right? So we can see it's going to be somewhere here. Compare it to the, the beak where it, the beak comes together. So it needs to be above that area. And then we'll put our eye shape in, in that kind of a space. Compare it, look around here, how wide is it in each of these spaces, right? It's wide, closer here and wider across here. Same here, closer here and more space, a little bit farther away from there. We wanna look at, there's a little bit of a wing shape here. So then I can add in, look at how long is my tail compared to the body and add that Get my length there. So I wanna have these major areas of the bird figured out before I do the feet, before I do any kind of fine tuning. The main thing we're gonna look at first is this oval and this oval here, and then compare those. It usually helps instead of trying to draw an exact perfect, you know, starting at the top of his head, do I have every little bump? Do I have it right? That's a good contour drawing, but you may end up having things a little bit out of place. So what works the best is to get a couple shapes down as close to accurate as you can. Get these two basic shapes of this head oval and the body oval. You want them to be as close to the right size to each other as you can the first time, but then you can adjust it a little bit and move things and look at exactly where they're lining up. If you want a little bit of extra practice, then just doing this, drawing it a few times on paper before you start your painting 
is a good idea. And you can also, if you find that one of those drawings is absolutely perfect, then you can trace it and transfer it over onto your canvas. So you don't have to completely redraw it once you get it figured out on your practice sketches. Let's look at also the, um, the second bird here. So with this one, his head is turned a little bit different, but we'll still start with those same basic shapes. This, and we'll just kind of make them a little bit more similar in the angles there. So then I wanna look at, okay, does my chest come out far enough on this bird? I need to bring it out a little bit further. What about the angle of this wing of his back? It needs to come out a little bit further here. Look at the groups of feathers. You're gonna have these top feathers, these middle feathers, and then the very long group of feathers. So these will be kind of these different groups. I'm gonna see if you have those on there about right. And then his body will come from there. But let's look at, so it's kind of this shape here going across and then up. And then I wanna adjust. So before we do any kind of details, we wanna get the main body and the head in a placement in a way that you, um, that you like. One of the things I want to notice here is that his beak is very close to the edge of his head here, but I do, it does go a little bit past and to, for a more successful drawing or painting, we really don't want it to touch this edge. So we don't want to have, right, if this is his head and his eyes, you know, somewhere like this. We don't want this beak to just go right to the edge of his face here, right? This is going to flatten him very much. But what we do want to have is have that beak go, even if it's exaggerated, go a little bit past, or if he's looking straight at us, make sure you know that it'll be turned a little bit more, right, and leave enough space. Those are exaggerations, but I wanna make sure that there's either enough space here or that it overlaps, but not touching. So we don't wanna have that one. So with this one, it's just a little bit more of a turn to have his beak go a little bit longer I want to make sure that I go out past the edge of his face so the beak goes a little bit past there. Okay. I want to look at where this eye is. It's going to be different from here because now his head, instead of being turned exactly sideways, is more toward us. So we're going to see a little bit different. And now it kind of is going to be centered between these two areas and it's going to be a little bit different shape than in the other bird that we drew. Right. And we're seeing a little bit more of his under beak, so the beak shape is also a little bit different to have the head more turned toward us. I can adjust some of these shapes till I like them. I feel like they are more accurate. This sort of here's the body here, and then there's this sort of triangular shape, which is all still part of the main body before we get to some of these tail feathers. And I can measure the tail feathers to make sure that I'm going to get about the same kind of size here. Right, so we wanna have the basic idea of it and then be able to make um, fine tune adjustments and um, some of that will be in our painting. We don't wanna to get too tiny and detailed because it is going to be a painting and there's going to be, um, we're gonna be covering up the drawing anyway. So um, we mostly wanna get these shapes down and then I can figure out, you know, how, how does my foot need to be? And if I want to do something different, I can have, I don't have to have the twig going up like this, right? I can decide if I wanna have the twig going this way which case this foot is gonna to need to come down over here, right? Instead of being this little claw up here. So it just depends on how you want to draw it. Or maybe you want to draw it a little bit more like this and have some branches that come down. So you're going to have to adjust a little bit to make sure that that works. Um, 
and how you want to make the branches is going to be completely up to you. You can change it a little bit from that or stick to it um, pretty much how it is. But these are the main things we want to look at. The direction of the body here, the size. We want to start with these two main ovals and kind of look at where things line up. Compare lengths. How long is this compared to this? compared to the whole body, how big is the head, and kind of like where is the placement of this eye, making sure that it is lining up with the corners of the beak that we want it to line up with. Here we have that corner lines up here, same on this spot, and be able to find some of those little areas. Um, so then his chest feathers are gonna come here and through here, but all of these are details that we will do in the painting. So I don't really need to work them out here unless I wanna do it as a practice but this is about as much of a finished drawing as you'll need um, before you paint. So I've mixed some um, ultramarine blue and white and um, using titanium white. And then I'm just going to paint that on here in the background of these birds. <laughs> 